So I was involved in doing a, a research project that looked at the impact of laptops on the learning program at a number of schools in the Hunter Valley. Uh, generally, what I was looking at is how the use of that, those laptops impacted the learning environment and then what factors impacted the successful use of the laptop program. So we started off with year 11s for six months as a guinea pig uh, and then year 9s got them halfway through the year and then the following year 7s got them. When Dad told me about it, I actually felt pretty excited. I had mixed feelings. I was very excited. I'm happy she has a laptop to do her school work. I felt that they were ready for the challenge. This sounds pretty good. I was freaking out a fair bit. I found that teachers had to have a certain amount of IT skill to be comfortable with using the technology from the, t from the teacher's point of view to have a, a different paradigm in teaching in that you're no longer sort of the content expert, you're no longer the expert figure in the classroom. You really are working beside the students on their learning projects. They call parents to come and someone talk a bit about uh, the computer. Yeah, it's always there. Help is always there. They have got a centre there where uh, parents can access. The, um, the IT team at the school are really great. They send out little tech tips. Initially, we weren't given a lot, a lot of training. Yeah, we weren't allowed any movies. That it's supposed to have this case on. For us not to use laptops outside. Piracy. They always told us to keep it in our bags. Download illegal songs from the internet. You're not, we're not allowed to use it on the bus or outside without a teacher. He's not allowed to use the computer in his room. They can't open their laptops until I've said that they can. Take their laptops every Friday night so that they don't use it on sub, in the Sabbath hours. Being very specific as to what you would like them to do once their computer is open. We have got a curfew time. Uh, most parents just come, oh hi son, how are you? And that's it. Oh you're doing your homework, but they probably not be doing their homework. I can use Land School to shut down um, the internet. He uses it up to a certain time in the evening. It kind of distracts us a lot when we're trying to do assessments and stuff, it gets in our way. Yep, yeah. A lot. We as parents really need to, to, to keep in touch on what our kids are doing. One young lady said to me that she really thought the school should be blocking Facebook on their machines because she just cannot control herself. The computer has the whole world open to the child through the internet and that can be a distraction. Downloading movies, games. Um, there are kids in there that are on Facebook and they're not, not supposed to. They could be checking their email. They hack into the system and the school is not aware of that. A lot of students like go on um, games like Minecraft and Mar Marble Blast and stuff like that in, in class. She tells herself she's gonna sit down and do her maths homework and she starts off but five minutes later she's over on Facebook and she said, I can't help myself you have to help me regulate that sort of activity. They've got several programs up at once, <laughs> even when they are on task. Uh, playing flash games. Hacking into the system to get what they want when they're bored. Um, a lot of students are distracted by the laptop. There are kids in there that are uploading pictures and they're not supposed to. Well, um, my dad has. Um... I've printed out workbooks for them instead of giving them an e-copy. Um, every night my mum tells us to give our laptops to her. I knew that most of them wouldn't be watching if they had another screen in front of them. She gives us time to study and she gives us time to ha take a break from our laptops. The classrooms that we have today are not designed for laptops. I don't, I don't really do anything during class. Yeah. I just follow the yeah. instructions. They just get so distracted so easily. You just have a program and it's, it's called, called um, Land School. Yeah, Land School. Which enables us to view what's happening on each student's laptop. Yeah. There is a program to um, just dislocate that. I must tell you that while I think students can do great things with it, I will tell you that some of them are starting to question whether it's worth it. To my disappointment and my small evaluation, I think my son has actually gone down as far as the general 
performance is concerned. I, I talked to one girl, for example, who said she used to spend an hour on homework every evening. She now spends three hours an evening. So it just definitely comes with its struggles and its risks. The bar had risen a lot in terms of what teachers were expecting with the technology. It is a doorway uh, into places where they, ca they can't really control um, what they're doing. Computers are great. I think you can get some pretty good things out of using technology in the classroom, but I do think there's a number of issues that need to be overcome by schools for them to operate successfully, and schools are doing a little bit of a mixed job in the way they're managing to achieve success on all levels. I feel like I'm at a grand jury. I did not, I have never taken performance enhancing drugs. And my name is Lance Armstrong. There's to be a number of other factors in place for it to occur. That'll be the phone. <laughs> Let me just... No, I'll just find out. Wendy. Hey, yeah, just wanted to know whether it's proceeded. And the school is not aware of that. Or, um... Me? I'm hungry. Oh, sorry.